Ladies and gentlemen, here we are from the Small Business Superheroes YouTube channel. I'm Barbarian. This is the Mad Scientist. We are here well, at the Kernersville Spring yep. Folly in Kernersville, North Carolina. We're going to do some interviews with some small business owners and see what it is that they love about being at the Kernersville Spring Folly and talk to them a little bit about their business. Let them promote themselves on our channel. There we go. Let's hit it. That's what we're going to do. Sounds great. Let's do it. Breaking news, folks. Breaking news. Small Business Superhero Podcast has just landed. How are you doing? I'm First doing time well. we ever met, ever. 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 I just walked up this random person, and I want her to tell that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colleen Broker. I own Four Paintings and Creations by Colleen. I have a Facebook page. You can find me there. I do acrylic pouring on canvas. Um, I also do um, acrylic pouring on wood rounds. Um, so yeah, they're awesome. I mean, thank you. I mean, I really like these. Thank you. I'm a hard guy. Everything is handmade. Um, I have the wood made, wood rounds are made from a patient of mine, so he cuts the wood rounds for me. Um, I paint primer them. You can use these as a charcuterie board, or you can use them as a lazy Susan. Um, so that's what I have here today, along with my paintings. I also do tiles that you can set up in your kitchen and use them as decoration. Okay. And I've been pouring for about Four years now. You're beating two. I was going to say, how long yeah. have you been doing this? Four well, years? I must be pretty good at this then, right? You're, you're an expert. I'm an you're expert. Pro. Right? <laughs> yeah, about four years. Okay. I've been about two years, and now I've been selling for about two. What got you started with this? Just like the way it looked? Or? Um, yeah, and I've always been kind of crafty. So um, I saw this, and I figured, well, it's something I'd like to try. My husband hunts. My girls are in college, you know, and <laughs> now they're married. Awesome. I have nothing to do. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Empty nesters and he's gone hunting. So, so what is your Facebook page? Can we reach you on Facebook? Uh, yeah, you can reach me at Fort Painting and Creations by Colleen. Fort Painting and Creations by Colleen. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much you for taking time. Oh, well, you're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'm here with Miss Donna of Donna's Delights where she makes handmade soaps and other things. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about your business. Um, I have been doing this since 2008. I started out, my first show was the Horse and Mule Show down in Denton. And I started with 13 bars of soap. And, um, and now I have grown. Uh, when I get enough customers asking if I have such and such, and I... Figure I have to go and figure out how to make go it. Go and learn how to make it. <laughs> go ahead and make it. And so now I've got uh, soaps, lotions, whip shea butters, body oils, laundry soap, deodorant, uh, face mask, scrubs, sunscreen, uh, lip balms, hand balms. The only essential oil I do is Three Thieves because... I'm not, I'm not in the business of repackaging. That's a, <laughs> fair enough. I can't I can't repackage. It's it's not in so my nature. So you've grown to this level. If your first show, you only had you had 13 bars of soap. 13 and that was different it? bars of soap. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got lip balm carry alongs. So something to put your lip balm in, so you don't lose your lip balm. I've got uh, roll-ons now um, with different essential oils, and I even found a way to. Uh, repurpose my bars of soap that I either miscut or they just get old and beat up looking and so now now I bag up uh, rough cuts uh -huh. and for three dollars you can get a minimum of five and a half ounces of soap and it's uh, all different pieces so each piece in there is a different piece of soap and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> and then I have uh, scrubby washcloths that um, for the farmer's market that I do at the corner farmer's market in Greensboro over off of uh, Market Street. Here we are at the Kernsville Spring Folly. Talk yes, to me sir. about why you, why you enjoy being at the Spring Folly. I love being at the Spring Folly because I love the people of Kernersville. I've been uh, doing various festivals in Kernersville and have customers here. For, for a very long time. 2011, I've been doing the Spring Follies. The Spring Follies? Wow. So it's, it's been a while. Over a decade of Spring Follies. Yes, yes. And I only skipped it once. Uh, 
all. But I also do the Honey Bee Festival. Uh, I'll tell you, I for one am very glad that you're here because I told you before about my weakness for handmade soaps. Uh -huh. So do you have a, a website or anything like that? that I have a Facebook in? page. It's Donna's Apostrophe, or Donna Apostrophe, no S because somebody else has it, <laughs> Delights. <laughs> okay, Donna Apostrophe Delights. Yeah. All right. So All Facebook right. page, any website? Uh, now I used to have one, but it's just easier to work off of Facebook. I'm, I'm pretty low tech. You want to order something, you just uh, message me through Facebook. Gotcha. Or call me or text me. And, and what's the next event that you're going to be at the folks who come see you? Uh, well, Thursday I'll be at Abbotswood um, Senior Living in Greensboro. Okay. For their uh, porch farmer's market. And then on Saturday, I'll be at the Corner Farmer's Market, which I'm normally at most times. But my next uh, actual festival is the following week on the 21st. I'll be in uh, Mount Airy for the Mayberry Farm Fest. So cherry almond is very popular, and it, people like to have it. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm Ash. I'm here with Master Posey of Pure Taekwondo. And tell us about your business, your website, how you've been business, what's going on with Yeah, so uh, I'm the owner of Pure Taekwondo Center. My name is Master Posey. Um, we're actually celebrating our 10 year anniversary wow. uh, this year, June 7th. Um, we've got a big celebration that we're doing on June 4th because we have a Bible exam that day. Um, but uh, yeah, we've been in business for 10 years. Um, our goal is to help build a better community one kick at a time through character development, building excellent leaders, um, just trying to impact the children because they are today. I don't say the future because, you know, things are so advanced now, you know, they're, they're today. So we're trying to impact today to help build a better community. That's a really good statement. Yes, sir. Not just kicking, it's smart. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not all about kicking and punching. It's about how you live. Um, what are you doing to help others? Um, we're all about giving back, you know, so, you know, obviously we want to teach martial arts. It's a small business, but at the same time, what are we doing to impact everybody else? Yeah. Children, adults, you know, and if we can help build a better community, man, we're just going to thrive. So what's your website? Our website is ptkd.org. Um, yep. We also have a Facebook page. Our Facebook page is rocking. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing a lot of stuff on there. Uh, that's pretty much our headline, our mainstream for everything that we're doing. Um, and things like that, but yeah, we've, we've been very blessed. COVID was a little bit impactful, but you know, you know, we've been very diligent at what we've been doing, and uh, we're we're just trying to reel them in. So we're a small business trying to help small businesses grow. You know what I mean? Because this country was made, was founded on small businesses. I think small businesses are the backbone. They're the backbone, and if you lose your small business, you lost. Like you said, the backbone. It's going to be hard to kind of keep things rolling. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yes, sir, for I sure. I kids back by. This is the wild, man. Stay with the Small Business Superheroes podcast. We are here with Brienne from Triangle Fitness. We're at the Curtis Hill Spring Folly. Talk to me a little bit about your business. My husband, Michael, and I own Triangle Fitness in Curtis Hill. Uh, we've had it for all, over 16 years. Uh, he grew up in this area, so it is definitely a locally owned and operated small business. We're not part of a franchise chain of gyms or anything is that one location mm -hmm. um, about five or six years ago we were able to expand into some of our warehouse space and start doing kids programs which are birthday parties parents night out events summer camps day camps when schools out um, and other little things like that no um, for the gym it's 24 hours access okay. very affordable i think 34 months right now um, we just really want to be family oriented our kids have grown up in there and we just love our members and the community. See, now I'm going to throw it out there. I used to be a member, so I vouch for the gym, and the 24 hour access thing for me was the best thing ever. Yeah, when you work weird hours or different yeah. you know, businesses, we have you know, emergency workers and, and third shifters come in at all hours, and you know, they just needed a chance to get some of that energy back. So, we are here at the Curtisville Spring Folly. Talk to me about why you think it's important to have a booth in the Spring Folly. Well, we, we're part of this community, and like I said, my husband's from here, so um, part of this is just getting the you know, socialize with everybody that lives around us. Um, of course. And our business. And then the other part of it is promotion, of course. We want to let others that don't know about us know about us. So we give out some coupons nice. and sell some t-shirts and stuff like that. On that note, is there a website, a Facebook page, something that yeah. people can find you at? We have two Facebook pages, Triangle Fitness in Kernersville and Kids Indoor Playground at Triangle Fitness. Okay. And we also have a website where you can find all of our pricing and information on all of our programs. Oh, yes. um, www.trianglefitness.net. Dot net. Okay. 
we will put that up on the screen so people know it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much for taking the time. Do you guys have any special events coming up uh, in the near future? Summer camp. Summer camp. Summer camp. We are the most affordable in the area, and uh, we're a smaller size. So School's about to end, too. It's, it is the season. So fantastic. Triangle Fitness Summer Camp. We're here with Brianne Jones. We are here with Miss Holly Dixon and Lara from Modern Woodman Fraternal Financial, Modern Woodman of America. Talk to me a little bit about Modern Woodman. So we help families come up with um, a financial plan that includes life insurance, retirement planning, um, and they've got small business, we can do employee benefits too. We're kind of the Modern Woodman of America. We're owned by our members instead of stockholders, which is really cool. So we get to put a lot of money back into our members' hands um, and into the communities that we serve. That's fantastic. So we are here at the Kernsville Spring Folly. Talk to me about why you enjoy being at Kernsville Spring Folly and why it's important for your business. Oh, I love Kernsville. I think this town is... Kernsville? Yes. Um, I love being at these events, getting to talk to people that you wouldn't normally see in your day-to-day -day life. Uh -huh. um, just a fun time. Yeah, it's fun. Good stuff. Yeah. So do you have a website, Facebook page, something like that where people can find you? Yes, I do. I have a long list. Thank you. All of those things. All of those things. Yes. Right into the camera? Yes. Yeah. 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 Tell them how to find you. So you can go to the Modern Woodman of America Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to the Kernsville Spring Folly website. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to the Dixon, MWA, and same for Twitter and LinkedIn. Fantastic. Well, we are here with Holly Dixon. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us, and I hope our viewers will go and check you out. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, this is the Barbarian with the Small Business Superheroes YouTube channel. We are here with Steve of People Like Software. Talk to me a little bit about People Like Software. So People Like Software is a uh, small web development agency. We build custom applications. Uh, custom websites, mostly for e-commerce companies uh, selling products online. So if you're a manufacturer or, or a wholesaler uh, selling any product online, we can help you sell more product or um, optimize your sales process. Fantastic. Good stuff. How long have you guys been in business? So we've been in business for two years. Uh, I started the company just based off of from freelancing. I've been freelancing for about four years, converted those clients into agency clients, and now my team and myself uh, work to deliver uh, services uh, to our clients. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. So we are here at the Kernsville Spring Folly. Talk to me about why you enjoy being at the Folly and why it's important for your business. So I actually just moved to Kernersville. Um, I'm originally from Florida. Just been in North Carolina for about three years now. Um, I just happened to like get involved with the Kernersville Chamber of Commerce at the last minute. Found out about the Folly kind of snuck in last minute. That's why I'm at the end here. <laughs> but um, That's all right. We're going to get you on the YouTube channel. We'll yeah. get you some promotion. Yeah, I'm happy you guys stopped to, to speak to me and give me, um, give me give my company name out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you got a website and stuff like that? Yeah, so right yeah. www.peoplelikesoftware.com uh, and the social media is pretty much the same thing. Uh, so, uh, okay. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, it's just people like software. Okay? Excellent. Fantastic. Steve, it was very nice to meet you, buddy. Likewise. Thank you for taking a minute to talk to us. Appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Yeah, there we go. Flag. Like on a guard. Uh, 